Well, as athletes make their way to Tokyo this week for the Paralympic Games, one rower from Central Ohio is the only Team USA athlete set to compete in two events. Impressive. NBC4's Audrey Hassan caught up with the Ohio State graduate. She joins us now from the newsroom. Audrey, Blake Haxton, that's who we're talking about, a Paralympic Games veteran, but competing in two events, this is the first for him? It is, Brad and Jen. You know, Blake Haxton will be heading to his second Paralympic Games in men's single skull rowing, but he also qualified in the new para canoe event this year. Blake told me he actually set a goal to compete in the two events at the Paralympic Games in Paris in 2024. But when the 2020 Games were postponed a year due to the pandemic, it gave him an extra year to train. I actually feel very fortunate that I had training to kind of lean back on because, you know, I'm I, you know, between the canoe and the single, I'm the only guy in the boat, so I do train alone anyway. While the pandemic forced many people to adjust to quarantining in solitude, Blake Haxton thrives training alone, pushing his own mental and physical limits on the water. Through quarantine and, and all of last year and this year, um, it gave me something to do. They weren't sure the games were going to happen, but I at least had some activity that I could focus on and, and invest in. His journey towards the Paralympic Games started in high school when a flesh-eating bacterial infection forced surgeons to amputate both of his legs. Now at age 30, Blake's the first American athlete to qualify for the Tokyo Games in both sprint canoe and rowing. I'm definitely stronger. The canoe is only a 200 meter race, so it's just a flat out sprint. And of course, rowing is 2000 meters and that's about 10 minutes for me. So these are really different disciplines. But Blake says after making his Paralympic Games debut in rowing in 2016, he welcomed the challenge of competing in two different events. I'm stronger in certain ways than I hadn't been just because I'm, I'm working a lot more fast twitch and I've got to move the boat a lot quicker. I don't know what impact that's quite going to have on rowing, hopefully a good one, but I might also just flame out after 200 meters and that'll be that. So we'll all find out together. And even though Blake says he'll miss having friends and family in Tokyo to cheer him on as he aims for a medal, he feels grateful for all the support he receives back home here in central Ohio. Columbus is a great hometown and I appreciate all the support from everybody and it feels really great to know that they have people pulling for me. We are pulling for him and Blake will be leaving Columbus on Sunday and the U.S. rowing team is meeting up in Hawaii to train for a couple days before they fly to Tokyo. He finished fourth in rowing at the Rio Games, so a lot of his supporters are rooting for him to make yeah. the podium with a medal in Tokyo. Brad oh, and Jennifer. Yeah, we would <laughs> love to see him bring home a medal. Audrey, thank you so much.